Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the vlog. I am sitting here on the floor, um, trying to, like, organize my life. Uh, I have a stack of stuff that's going out today, and I have a little project that I wanted to work on. Um, you guys have been asking how to remove the bubbles from long chomp bags, and I'm gonna try a couple things out. So I have this one right here that I, um, I've had for a little bit. Uh, I got this from the Goodwill, of course. This one was $4. And, yeah, this one is an authentic long chump. And it has actually been raining this morning. It actually stopped already. But it's still a little wet outside. Um, it's not supposed to be raining, like, too strong today. Um, but I think it's supposed to be a little stronger like tonight and tomorrow. He's so proud of me because I literally just listed um, all my bags right now. And I have like this silver bag. Oh, this bot kim is gorgeous. And this little red Ferragamo is stunning. This coach. I have this B. Mikowski tote. Oh, this, okay, this like new Mark by Mark is perfection. It's literally such a gorgeous little bag. And then this black coach cloth body is so cute. And then this orange, like, it's not, like, it's not, um, a, what's it called, Balenciaga? It kind of has, like, that look, though, but there's, like, no label or anything inside. And then there's this gorgeous B. Mikowski in yellow, too, with that, those studs, like, come on. I'm, like, completely and utterly obsessed. I also have, where is it? Oh, this super cute Kate Spade little card case. It's so adorable. And then, I also have these Tory Burch shoes that are like in like literally such great shape. They're so cute. And yeah, they're like so nice with the gold hardware too and the croc embossed leather. Alright, good thing that this light is here now because I don't like look really oily but I just put like facial lotion on but it's like super like overcast and cloudy outside and I feel like the light is definitely doing a good job um, but I'm actually going to start packaging right now and then we're gonna head over to the post office the Goodwill and then I'm gonna need to film some stuff and it's already like so overcast I don't mind filming later because I feel like the lighting is gonna be pretty much the same and we're gonna see how well the new lighting works and I'm gonna use it in conjunction with the lighting up above which is actually not on right now which I think is actually helping because yesterday when I was trying this out I had my overhead lighting on my chandelier and the lighting on that is really yellow and I think it was messing up something with the light because like right now it's looking like pretty good like white light instead of like the yellow light like this is, looks I think more natural um so yeah I'm super duper excited I'm gonna get um started with packaging I don't have too much stuff but um I want to get it done as quickly as possible because I don't want to get stuck outside in the rain and right now it looks like we're getting a little reprieve for the moment it's not like super I think it's just like maybe drizzling a little bit um so yeah all right you guys so I was just talking to mom and she told me that she made this soup right there so i am super excited it's i wouldn't really call it a soup it's not like a it's more like a porridge maybe it's a hybrid between porridge and soup um it's a filipino dish called um lugao or um arroz caldo i guess is also another name for it in tagalog and it's just like rice, and then it has chicken, and it's delicious. So I'm gonna scoop some up. I'm gonna grab probably one of these. I really like the handle. I actually got these at the Goodwill, Williams Sonoma. I have two of these, and they're like my favorite thing. So I'm just gonna scoop some soup up and start eating. I'm so excited. So I'm so excited to eat this. This is like the perfect food to eat during the rain, and. I'm gonna go enjoy this while I'm packaging stuff. All right, you guys, got everything packaged up. Now let's head over to the post office. All right, just got all my packages inside the car. Now I am so excited to finally be able to use this umbrella. I got this last year, right, when it started raining, and like, it's been amazing. So it actually goes inside out, so the water doesn't go everywhere inside the car. It's amazing. 
and it was actually really cheap too when I got it on um on Amazon so I'm gonna have it linked if anyone's interested I just think that that's like literally the coolest umbrella and it just works really well and it comes in really cool designs and all that but right now we are inside the car I'm trying to get my key out of my pocket where did it go oh I have it in my jacket pocket I'm actually wearing a jacket today a light jacket it's not like super duper cold but it's raining and I'm still wearing shorts, and I'm actually <laughs> wearing flip-flops. Um, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm just going to run in and out really quick, so I didn't feel like really the need to um, really be weather appropriate in my clothing, I guess. I don't know. I'm just crazy. Um, but we're going to go to the post office. Yeah, it's 309, so I think the high school's out already. So we're going to go to the post office. Then we're going to go to the Goodwill, and then back home and then we need to film some haul videos so um that should be fun let's go look at that rain you guys it's raining all right you guys it was like pretty intense bringing all those boxes inside but we made it so now it's time to go to the goodwill hey guys okay so we are now at the goodwill right down the street from where i normally go to the post office so this is another edition of my daily thrift daily thrift Daily trip to the thrift. That's what I'm gonna call it. Daily thrift to the trip. Daily thrift. Daily trip to. The, I can't even. That is a tongue twister. Daily trip to the thrift. Daily trip to the thrift. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna head inside right now and see if we can find anything. Um, I didn't go in there yesterday because I was um out thrifting normally, like in where I normally go to. Um, so let's see if the rain will. I don't know. I feel like sometimes there's like a lot of people in here and let's see if the rain will deter them. But I feel like the parking lot is actually pretty full. So I feel like there's a lot of people in there right now. So let's go check it out. All right, I'm checking out the bags that they have here, but these are all the same ones that I've seen before. Coach, Vince Camuto, more Coach, more Coach. A really damaged Dooney. Another Coach, Juicy. And Kenneth Cole. Let's see if we can find any cool bags today. This is almost like a YSL, but it's definitely not. And this is almost like a Gucci. I feel like, yeah, it's not horrible. Let's have a, a further inspection of this. I think the hardware looks pretty good. This is totally throwing me off, like the zipper is plastic. Gucci, made in Italy, has a number, and it's $35, so definitely not going to be getting it, but it's kind of a cute bag. Let's see what else is here. Wanted to check over here behind this. Someone put this rack right here. It looks almost like a Kate Spade for sure. I don't think I don't think I see anything here. What is this? I think this is just a pleather bag. Yeah, definitely pleather. It's cute though. Like the silhouette of it. This looks almost like a Rebecca Minkoff or a Kate Spade or something. Stella and Dot. It's kind of cute, but no. Here's a guest bag. Urban Expressions. Esprit. Here's a cart. Victoria's Secret Toe. Those things over there are kind of cool. Colors. There's actually a lot of people here at the store today, but I'm not really seeing anything too exciting. They have some like fake Louis Vuitton luggage from like afar. They have this Target's laptop sleeve. There's two of them, $6.99 each, still with tags. 
Um, let's see what kind of bags they have in here. Kaylin, call me New Orleans. Coast. Yeah, that's Kipling looking bag, but it's Bagalini. Nothing like I don't really see anything to eye catching back here. Two good cards are gonna come out right now. Super excited. Nothing too crazy on the card. This is kind of cute though. I think it's like a Kodak camera case. I thought it was coach at first. They have some really high shoes. All right, guys, I just got back inside the car. Unfortunately, I didn't see anything that um, I wanted to get in the store. So that does happen sometimes. Um, but now I'm happy to go home because it's pretty cold and rainy and Jerry outside. I want to be inside where it's nice and warm and get some more work done. So let's go back to the house. Just got home. Mom's using her Instant Pot to make some soup for dinner, so I'm very excited. This thing is the best. Ooh, there's the soup. Now it just needs veggies. So yummy. Oh, it's raining really hard. Can you guys hear it? I am back in my room and I, I had dinner. It was delicious. That soup is so good. And I love eating like really hearty, like, um, like comfort food like that when it's raining. It just uh, makes you feel so good inside. It makes you feel warmer. And as much as I love the rain, nothing beats like the California sunshine. So like when it's raining and at least today, like the sun was still kind of trying to peek through a little bit, especially in the afternoon. But, um, it's crazy, but it's good. It's good. Like the rain is good. We need it. Um, I know that like there's a still like some fires up in Ventura. Um, I think on the news it said that they were only about 95% contained. So the rain definitely is going to help and hopefully it will, um, put out the rest of those fires up there and that'll be totally awesome. Uh, so today it was a pretty busy day, actually. It was I was just like going nonstop this whole day, uh, packaging, going to the Goodwill, um, getting the pick, like getting the items up for sale. Um, so for tonight, I'm just going to work on the videos that are going to go up tomorrow, and then possibly um, take more product photos of items go that I want to get out. I still have so much stuff left, but if you see anything from like the um, the thrifting videos like that are recent that you're gonna see today oh don't forget to check out um today's thrifting no thrift haul video yes there's gonna be a thrift haul video today that went up this morning so don't forget to check that out um, if you guys um, haven't seen that yet um, all the handbags and stuff that you see in that video are gonna be up for sale in the shop it's hadrian.com and um, hopefully some more other stuff too so I'm really excited about that and I'm going to um, get some handbag rehabs in the works I'm still waiting on that um, what is it called the leather prep for that Givenchy bag I really want that to come in so I can um, work on that bag already because I'm super excited to work on it and I really want to see what's underneath that paint I want to see if they just decided to paint it or if they got like some sort of stain on it and that's the reason why they painted over it um, but I don't know I don't think I like the paint on it I think if once I remove if I can remove I like a lot of the paint on it. I want to just re-dye it, but I don't know what like it's gonna be like with the residual paint and all that stuff that's on it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. That's why I'm really like excited to get that leather prepare uh, like leather prep in so I can re remove all the paint that's on the bag. Um, and yeah. Oh, so tomorrow is gonna be Tuesday. Liza's birthday is on Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow, I think we're gonna go. Um, well, I have a couple packages, so I have to, I think I'll try to get those ready tonight, so tomorrow I can just drop them off at the post office, um, possibly go to the Goodwill again for a daily Goodwill trip, 
and then I want to go to either like Walmart, Target, or Toys R Us or something um, to pick up a couple more gifts for Eliza. I just want him to have a lot of presents to open up. I like, like he he loves those presents, and every time I say Eliza presents, he gets really excited. He just like wants to open stuff up. He's turning three, and that's what kids love to do. They have to blow out candles and open gifts. So I want to make sure to make his little birthday dreams come true. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. There's a couple, like there's so much stuff that I want to do, but I feel like there's not enough time in the day right now. And with the rain, it kind of like hinders um, some of the things that I do want to like get do. Um, I don't really like to go out thrifting in the rain because it's like a ways drive, and then people drive crazy, which is like really it's like kind of cra like annoying in California. Like it drizzles, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's raining." So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm gonna end the video now. So thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs. If you guys have, give this video a big thumbs up. Say hi down below in the comments if you guys are enjoying them. Um, I'm actually having a fun time like vlogging every day still. I loved it during Vlogmas, but vlog like December is just so much more like packed with like more, I don't know, fun stuff, I guess. Um, but I don't know, I'm still having a lot of fun vlogging now, and I have uh, a lot of other stuff that I think is going to be pretty exciting for you guys, too. Um, I know you guys have been enjoying, like, the decorating for Christmas, and I definitely want to, like, do some stuff around the house. Um, I'm just waiting for, like, maybe the rain to die down and for just Eliza's birthday to pass, and then I'll get started on <laughs> that other stuff. Um, plus, I really want to just get all of my product photos up for um, the bags that I haven't photographed yet. I still have like literally a box of stuff in the garage. Maybe a little bit more than a box. And a big box too. Not just like a small box. It's like a large one. Um, so thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you guys immensely. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye! They're not all the same. They're actually really cute. And a lot of people actually do collect these. And this is still in the box. $7.99 is not a bad price for them because these are usually pretty pricey. There's a set of four. I'm just going to hold on to this for now and see if I'm willing to end up taking it. Um, but these are always fun. They would make like a good like little gift too.